Hey y'all. I was gonna start this off like real classy. Mm -hmm. Like, welcome to Stream Friends Theater. Yeah. Today we have for you a delightful entry in the Mortal Kombat series. The classic. The classic. That series. It's a tale of a man who wants to change his destiny, but can't. I don't know. I spoilers. Know. Yeah, Jeez. Spoilers. What? Whatever. It's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> as much as I love the lore, and I do love it. I love the lore. It's. It's quite good, but it's it's really dumb and it doesn't take itself seriously, and yet it does. It's weird. It's this nice yep. mix of both of those. Um, my name is John Carson. I am here with Sir Dylan Hacked. Hello, I'm hey. Dylan Hacked. How are Dylan? you, John? I'm I'm doing well. Um, good. I'm about to play one of my favorite franchises. So yeah, man. Super excited. Love I'm World so Combat. hype right now. Uh, we're gonna be playing through the story mode. Uh, Mortal Kombat X was just announced like a week and a half ago. Saw a bunch of footage of it last week. Um, it got me back into my crazy tunnel of Mortal Kombat. Like I, I need to figure out everything about this new game, all the characters, like what's oh, yeah. the backstory and all that shit. So. Um, I feel like how does it tie in to the older games? Right, right, and like they showed off four new characters. We know how one of them tie, uh, ties in. We don't know about the others, so um, we're going to be playing Mortal Kombat 9, talking about the series, bullshitting about other things. So yeah, yeah, should um, be fun. Should be this good. is like the best. Not only is like Mortal Kombat really good, but also this is probably like the best story mode in fighting games. Oh, I agree. I mean, there's some others that are kind of good, too, like um, Tekken uh, 6. Well, yeah, Injustice, Tekken 6 is not bad. Right. Um, the Arc System games, like Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear, have yeah. their own kind of unique thing going on. That's Those ones are cool because to see the whole story, sometimes you have to lose matches. That's interesting. And, like, yeah, so you have to like sometimes you want to lose stuff to get a different outlook on the story. I kind kinda of, neat. I kind of like the Dead or Alive story modes too. I haven't. Uh, I've actually never played those. Gotcha. Uh, I think in DOA five was it? No, I'm thinking King of Fighters, where they gave you like the whole story web, and they're like, these are like the story points you've seen, and then like these blank spaces are the ones that you missed. So play through it with different characters. Oh, that's that kind of cool. cool. Yeah. So this is it. This so is this it. picks up right at the end of Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Yep. Uh, where basically the story of that was all the peoples are going to fight each other all at the same time, and then a giant pyramid rises up out of nowhere, and the character Blaze is at the top, and whoever kills Blaze gets immortal power or some horseshit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So it was basically a setup for just one of those. We're gonna throw all of our characters into this game mashups, um, mm -hmm. even the mocap guy. Uh, yeah, even mocap, even, even meat. Mocap. Blaze was kind of a joke character too, and then they just were like, "Fuck it, we'll just right. turn him into the most powerful but there, dude." But in But there's Mortal no Kombat. horn buckle, which what the fuck? There's chameleon in the Wii version. It's true. It's true. Uh, which is pretty cool. Didn't they have, like, normal... They had male chameleon in the game, too. Right? Male chameleon is reptile. No. No? Oh, there's, I don't know. There's chameleon that's spelled like chameleon, and then there's chameleon with a K. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking the lady one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Mortal Kombat, right. guys. It's gonna get silly. Let's go. It's. I can't wait. Now, do you get uh, audio on your side? No, but that's uh, fine. Okay, okay. Because uh, yeah, we got subtitles, so we're good. And I already know the story, okay? Right. Like, I'm pretty much an expert. Just wrote a few books on it. Yeah. So this is Mortal Kombat 1, the first Mortal Kombat ever. Yes. That's why, that's why there's no number on the screen. <laughs> the Mortal Kombat. 
Mm-hmm. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. It's where's, kinda sad. Where's uh man, Scorpion, why are you dead? Oh man, Baraka got Dang. fucked. Fuck <laughs> Jesus. Johnny Cage yeah. sucks. Do I, he no longer has a body. Mm hmm Sonya. Uh. Right. Where's Movado? <laughs> hook swords deep in him. Yeah, his own <laughs> his own hook swords. Where's Lee May? Lee May's somewhere in here. Reptile. Because I remember seeing her in the opening before. I just saw Bo Raicho. She has <laughs> nice. an arrow in her armpit. There's uh, Cabal, Kenshi, Melina, Quan Chi, Zombie Lou, because he died twice. Yeah. Shoot Jinko with those hooks in it. Well, there you go. Yep. That's where Mafato was at. Oh, those are just hooks. I don't think those where are, are the other swords. Guys? Oh. <laughs> so, spoilers, Shao Kahn Not is the perfect. canon winner of Combat Armageddon, yep. I believe. Yep. He killed Blaze and now he has the ultimate powers. Oh, and the Dark Raiden? Yeah! That happened. Is that his, he was all... Was that his up? Kamidoku? That just kind of... It was. Dragon. But our mere toothless worms. You know, I was kind of surprised that you couldn't, like, they didn't make it so you could play Shao Kahn in this game. Uh, like, yeah. That was kind of weird. He didn't, he had like three moves. <laughs> yeah, he like, well, he never really had that many moves. His slam forward, his slam up, and then he, he, has would, a taunt? he would grab you. Yeah, he does have a taunt. So he's uh, Dan. That's what you're saying. He's a super taunt. I think this was a real good way to, like, I don't know, kind of reset everything that they did here. With the oh, whole time I agree. Thing. If things went way too crazy, like... It was too nuts. I like Deception. I like the idea of Armageddon. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, they needed to kind of bring it back to a simpler time for a reboot. Well, there's a pretty big break between Armageddon and this one. Is there yeah. Like, how big? Uh, well, I mean, this came out, I think, at the end of PS2 era? Oh, it? oh, no, sorry. I, Yeah, I was thinking, like, timeline-wise. and. No, 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 yeah, like, like actual, like, real life-wise, no. Uh, so Raiden is sending his, like, consciousness back to his former self. To young Raiden. To young Raiden, who now has a headache. Lord He's like, oh, jeez. Oh, I need some aspirin. Right. Oh my god, I'm not even supposed to have headaches. The shit. Your amulet. He's like, oh, my whole shit is all busted up. What the fuck? Anyway, go fight these dudes, please. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, if you could uh, murder some fools. So now we are back in the time of Mortal Kombat Uno. Pretty much. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Nightwolf's there for some reason. Nightwolf's yeah. there for some reason. Yeah, this is definitely like alternate universe style business going on. It's like uh, the special edition Mortal Kombat <laughs> 1. Ed Boon decided to add CG to everything. Yep. Each of you will fight. Some I hear of their own volition. Baraka starts singing in like a lounge. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, beautiful. Yeah. Johnny K. Johnny Cage is now retconned to have his name tattooed on his chest. Yeah, and his belt is his name as well. It's yep. pretty awesome. Yep. I mean, and now we know that uh, when he tries to hook up with Sonya, he was clearly successful. Yes. So, I mean, that's good to know. Spoilers. I'm really happy to hear it. You know, it's I was worried about poor Johnny. I like that Cassie has uh, a, a variation that's just called Hollywood, and she wears sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And she has like her um, her uh, her X-ray is like the splits punch. Oh, good, good. That's what I was gonna. Yeah. That's what I was but gonna it say. goes like, of course, in like I don't know about Mortal Kombat 10. I mean, it goes into the detail. Like you see all the internal workings get crushed. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty. I didn't see that one. It was on like an IGN stream. Or okay. Something like that. Yeah. That's it's all right. on YouTube now. Uh, 
Nick, Dr. Evil Bones, asks if we're playing this on PS3. We're playing this on PC. Yeah. So, Which is why it took us a little bit to get started. <laughs> yep. We, uh, nice I had some issues. Yeah, the, uh, it's, the PC version's a little odd. So, yeah, so this is how it works. Like, they show the video, and then you go right into the fight. It's so cool. And this is the tutorial fights. So you, you pretty much can't lose it, I think. We'll see. I'm pretty good at losing. If you, I won't, like, if you need to, like, take a minute to look at a move list, because you notice you're not doing any shadow kicks. <laughs> it, won't, it won't let me. Really? Isn't it down the back kick for shadow kicks? That's the thing. With Mortal Kombat, I never remember any of the moves, so... Super you move might list. Go. Down to the ball. forward Y. Down to back A. Shadow kick. Oh, it's back forward B. All right. There we go. Got him. No. All right. Should I be playing this with the Xbox One controller? Are you using the D-pad? Yeah, I was there for a second. Yeah. Yeah, we should know that he is, John is playing with the controller right now, but that's okay. Because as I mentioned before, games with block buttons, I understand the need to play controller on that, because it's weird an arcade stick if you're not used to it. And if you don't have the actual Mortal Kombat stick as well, which is kind of a bummer. Oh. Those, they're so cool. This could be bad. We're off to a good start, guys. Yeah, no, I, this is great. Oh, it's two rounds. Cool. <laughs> Thank goodness. Come on. All right, hold on. Yes. Oh, we're going with the Xbox One here? No, I haven't set up the drivers for that yet. We're going oh. stick. Whoa! Look at this. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And don't forget, the computer's really dumb, so you can totally use the X-Ray on them a lot. Like, I've uh, never used X-Ray in competitive play, but... Johnny's X-Ray is a counter. Oh, that's right. That's I try right. it, and I'm like, oh no, he's just, like, taunting. Yeah. Um, are you sure that tutorial is a chump? Because... Well, I, mean, I haven't played it now. I haven't played it in a while, so I don't know. Maybe it isn't. I also need to get used to Mortal Kombat again. Mortal well, Kombat's weird. Remember, this isn't like Injustice where you can fake the moves and, like, do the. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you can do it Street Fighter style. Uh, Amplex in the chat brings up about uh, Mortal Kombat uh, X moving in the direction of more modest and normal clothing for ladies. Yeah, uh, Cass Cassie said? Cage is fully clothed. Uh, Devora is maybe not. Oh, she seems to like have like bug armor. Yeah, she has a carapace, but whatever. I'm not sure. I think it looks like they're they're going for that kind of thing, but um, I think they're just gonna like maybe just do that and then just amp up the violence. Maybe they can't. They don't want to have both. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And Lumberjack Bonanza asked if they're still recoloring ninjas as new characters, and actually what they're doing instead is they're just turning them all into robots. So <laughs> It's an easy solution. Yeah. Uh, did you see that uh, Ermac concept art? Yeah, that, that looks, looks legit. That looks really great. The whole idea of Ermac is really cool. He's just like a collection of souls. Right. It's like, uh, we were kind of fucked over. We came together... And we're an entity now. Out of the soul NATO. Yep. My favorite thing ever in Mortal Kombat. That was from Deadly Alliance, if I remember right. Yeah, because... Like Kenshin. Shang Tsung makes a soul NATO or something like that. I don't remember. But they they are moving away. Like it seems pretty much only like Sub Zero and Scorpion are still basically the same ninja with different colors. Because like Ermac really does have his own design. Reptile. Rain has his is own like design. Uh, a prince. Yeah, Rain's cool, man. I'm a fan oh, of Rain. Oh, what a dick. Oh yeah, yeah, Rain's awesome. 
And so he wears like really cool looking armor and his helmet usually looks like a crown. Mm -hmm. I like it. I don't know what he's the prince of. Uh, wherever Katana's from. The Adean realm? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 that's right, okay. So wait, does that mean that they're related? I don't know. If someone in chat she's can like a, clarify... She's like a princess of Edinia. Because her mother's the queen. Yep. How do I x-ray again? Uh, I, th I, think it, I think it's all the three top buttons or something like that on the stick. I could be wrong. That's the bottom ones. Cool. Waste that. Now we know. We know. The more you know. Mm. Ah, fuck. I also like how in this game they kind of took stuff from the older games like Deadly Alliance and Deception with the whole like weapon switching and that kind of stuff and now just like you just have moves where like Scorpion will like bring out a sword real quick, you know? Yeah. But and in the next one they're just gonna have for it. they're just gonna have yeah, variations for it. Which is that's gonna be crazy. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm super it's excited about it. It uh, makes that meta insane though. That's cool. I don't know. I was never the Mortal Kombat competitive guy though. No, I mean it's a hard game to be competitive with. Yeah. Get fucked. Then you have to play with people like Tom Brady. Competitive in it. <laughs> Not the real Tom Brady. Yeah, I was wondering. Like, Tom Brady. Round two. Fight. Lumberjack Bonanza's giving me shit. Yeah, I know it's the first guy. Also, have you watched uh, Dylan Cross John versus the internet? Yeah, seriously. I'm terrible. And Mortal Kombat's not like the easiest game to do combos in. No, it's kind of weird. It's its own kind of weird thing. Just kick him in the shin. That's all you need. He got caged. Oh god. That's it. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm so pretty. And I'm taking you down, I'm taking you down, I'm taking you out, I'm taking you out, and I'm taking you out. <laughs> He's such a jerk. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. I like that they made him like the ultra douche. Yeah. Mm, okay, nice makeup. But is it really necessary? I just love that he's fighting in a, tu in a tuxedo now. Because why not? Yeah. And everything's leather. <laughs> yeah, what? yeah, a leather tuxedo. Le That's leather tuxedo. Baraka sucks, man. Like, Not if a you fan. think about it, he like his people are kind of shitty soldiers. Like, they're yeah. like the putty patrol of Mortal Kombat. They are. Huh. Johnny Cage wins. Round two. Fight. I think eventually Johnny Cage switches back to his normal gear. I don't know if you play him again after this, though. I think you might once or twice. There's a few places where you kind of switch. Or you have someone on your team. Yeah. The one thing I remember about this story mode is it's a lot of like you fight like four guys in a row. Yep. So Scratty B brings up Johnny Cage is the one guy he doesn't understand. They play him as an oblivious movie star, but nobody, not even him, questions his shadow kicks and fireballs. But in the storyline, his like he's related to like 
like people yeah. that have like magic powers or something like that, like his ancestry line or something. Oh, really? Magic powers. Yeah, that's how they explain it. Now, finish him. Finish him? Huh. Yeah, right. Kill him. Wait, is that Darius? No, that's um. Kai? Uh, no, that's uh, what's what, what, what's his name? Uh, oh, Cyrax. Cyrax. Yeah, that's right. Cyrax, Sector of People. That's right. That blew my mind. What? That's it? Really? I thought they were born as robots. Yeah, it was really cool. That was like I was like, wow, they're regular people. Holy shit! Fought well. Thanks. Nice hat. You should be more respectful of Lord Raiden. He is the protector of Earthrealm, the god of thunder. Now look, I don't know what kind of role playing you guys are into, but count me out. This awesome. Yeah. More than a chance so good. Glory. We are fighting for the very survival of Earthrealm. This is probably my favorite uh, Netherrealm Studios story mode. Like Injustice was okay. Yeah. Um, but I think I'm just so into Mortal Kombat lore one step that this scratches right itch for me. Our world into his. Our world. Yeah, right, right. The Elder Gods created the Mortal Kombat tournament to give Earthrealm a chance to defend itself. But if we lose this time, Shao Kahn will conquer all. Dun dun dun! Look, guys, I'm an actor. I saved the world for the cameras. If this Emperor is really a threat, call the military. Let's see, hold on, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta take a quick break. Okay. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Liu Kang, though he may not yet know it. Triangulating the signal for evac, but it's there is no island. I'm standing on it. Just lock onto my wrist calm. Current status. They have jacks. And if I don't fight in this crazy tournament, they'll kill him. I'm gonna try to- Need help? I specialize in rescuing damsels in distress. <sighs> you again. What Listen, an I've asshole. I've got serious problems here. I'm in no mood to be hit on by some movie star. Come on. A girl like you shouldn't be wandering around this freak show alone. Cage, she would Look, beat the baby, shit out of you. I can't let you run loose without an escort. Alright, much better now. Cool. My, like, it was weird, like, for some reason, my, like, uh, headphones kept, like, the sound kept going down constantly. Oh, weird. Yeah, and I just unplugged my headset, replugged it in, that was good. That worked? Yeah, I love this, that he's, like, hitting on her, and then immediately is, like, especially because you could do, like, the x-ray on her and stuff, like, in this mo, like, in this fight. I'm like, jeez, this is a little rough. Right. You know what I mean? It's just so bizarre that it goes immediately from, like, he's hitting on her to, like, you could do the x-ray and like break every bone in her body. <laughs> hey, she started the fight. Yeah, it's true. I mean, that's what you get. Also, that a movie star beat up a special forces agent is kind of a bummer. How about that <laughs> little combo? Look at this guy. That's, yeah, that was good. Round two. Fight. I'm getting back into it. Sonya was the person I played the most in... Uh, when I played... Competitively, I played Sonya mostly. Okay. I played Justin Wong in Mortal Kombat, actually. The oh, only time I've really played a big... Pfft, I didn't win a single round. It was pretty terrible. He's a really nice guy, though. Oh, I bet. That was cool. Oh, he has, like, a force palm? Something like that. That was weird. I was kind of surprised they didn't find a way to work like that Mortal Kombat song from the movie into this game. Not even to like the credits. Look, sorry about that. Yeah. Mortal Kombat. Because so I was reading an interview with Ed Boon where he talks about that song, and he's like, "It's probably the most famous thing to come out of Mortal Kombat," and we had literally nothing to do with it. <laughs> right. Now that he's. There you go. Now you start playing as Sonya. And Sonya, right after Kano just murders Johnny. Just <laughs> yeah, he just like throws him off, off of a bridge. Oh, there's just deadly spikes below you. Don't worry. Yeah, it's okay. You're hanging from probably a blade. Oh. 
gotcha. <laughs> SF is on Some the people way. are asking if Sonya has powers. I don't know. I, does, I don't think everyone... She's got something. I, she um, doesn't, though, actually. She does can not. Kiss people and have them blow up. Step away from That's the true. Katana. Yeah, uh, she she has like really good. She could like acrobatics, super acrobatics. She like flies across the screen. Well, yeah, she right. she has acrobatics, and then she has like biological weapons, like whatever mm -hmm. kiss of death is. Yeah, and then she's got um like actual weapons too, in some of them, like just like bombs and stuff. She's like a she's a special forces agent, so she's got whatever that is, you know, guns and stuff. <laughs> I love that Kano move. He just chokes you. <laughs> <laughs> oh awesome. fuck! Oh shit! Oh! Oh! That's I need those for kicking. Oh! I need that for looking good. Oh, fucked. Fucking wrecked. Oh, sunglasses are still okay. It's good. Yeah, they're fine. These are five hundred dollars sunglasses, asshole. Right? <laughs> oh, so close. So close. You gotta try and do it like mid combo, or like you know what I mean, as he's going for a combo. Awesome. He just laughs. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this one. Yeah, this has got that Mortal Kombat difficulty on it for sure. Yep. That's the wrong button. There we go. Hey! Yes. Round three. Fight. You got this. So the chat is talking about the best ways to win Mortal Kombat might involve just bringing a really big gun, which is kind of not a bad idea, really. There doesn't well, seem to be anything against it. If you think Although, about it, it's like, is it smoke that just had like a nuke that could blow up the world in its chest? Didn't yeah, really use it. that's true. Yeah. But see, that wasn't until Mortal Kombat 3, and that wasn't really a tournament. Uh, yeah, that was just the battle for Earth. Earth yeah. Mind. Which is the one that Stryker was from, and he also has guns. So I don't know if there were guns before that. Get it. Okay. There we go. So many things. All the punches to the dick. To the grunt, yeah. Yeah. Dang, and you just got... He got right back up from that. He's got no fear. Shout kick. Uh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Stabbed. Um. Round one. Fight. Let's see here. Good job on that x ray, though. Thanks. Oh, that's the wrong one. So, what's so Kano, like, his story is that he used to be a special forces guy, but then he quit and joined. The, the black, black dragon? dragon? The red black dragon? dragon? Oh, no, the red dragon is different. The red dragon is what... Uh, it's like... Oh, I don't remember who runs that, but that's like the people who even betrayed the black dragon or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Cabal is part of the black dragon, too. Yeah. So is... Uh, what's his name? Movado? Yeah, red drip. Movado is. Is it like Dairo? Red drip. Hold on, now I, now I gotta look it up. Yep. Cheese it. But now he has like. Kano has like crazy cyber eye that he can shoot lasers from, which is kind of cool. Punch him in the dick. Nice. Break so they are the a. Ones. They are a ninja clan. And Movado, known members Movado. Suhao Su and, right. and uh, Dagon from Mortal Kombat Armageddon. 
And then the black dragon betrayed the red dragon. Okay. That's how it works, I guess. His name's Kano. He was an informant in our black dragon investigation. Big time arms dealers. And now Johnny's gonna try and get some. Giving us the runaround. Always. A lot of our guys got killed because of him. So that's not a costume? Your actual military? Special forces. Yeah. Also, people are really complaining about the lack of penis in the X-ray. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess. But don't worry, in Mortal Kombat uh, X, they show testicles in the in that X-ray. Because Cassie has a very similar one. Yeah, she does. Well, yeah. So, I mean, there you go, guys. Is it me, or is Cassie's fatality really awesome? The bubblegum one? Yep. That's pretty cool. I kind of really like cool. that. Because it's not like super gruesome, but you're still like, fuck, that was cool. Um, so, for the people who haven't seen it, uh, Cassie shoots out the knees of like uh, the opposing character and then shoots them in the head and then walks over with like chewed bubblegum and puts it over the head wound and it blows up a bubble of blood and then it explodes, explodes. everywhere. It's great. It's very silly. Uh-huh.